Hello everybody and welcome to the 10th and final part of the F1 2007 career mode series. What a journey it's been. Obviously doing those five episodes and then taking a break. And now here we are at the final race in Brazil. So for this race, we actually qualified second right behind Felipe Massa, our title rival. We are eight points behind in this championship. And honestly, my goal is just to really try to win this race. I don't mind if we win or lose this championship. It's been fun overall doing this series. And honestly, I just want to go out on a high, whether it's just winning the race or even winning the championship or both. But anyways, here we go. 18 laps of the Brazilian Grand Prix. Let's go. Ah, here we are, a sunny Interlagos for a great finale. There's Felipe Massa, we're second place. So it's just how I pictured it, um, since we're on the inside. If we get a good start, we can definitely try to take away the inside from Massa and hopefully win this race, let's hope. All right, here we go. The final race of F1 2007, three lights, four lights, five lights, and it's lights out and away we go. Pretty even start from us. Oh, Massa did not get a good start. We're going to take the lead into turn one. Just what we needed. Just what we needed. Oh, that's good. This is another track that will really suit our car. But with these long straights, yeah, you see right there, Massa. <laughs> he, yeah, he has the straight line speed. Kimi Raikkonen going down the inside of there. We're three wide now. Oh, but Massa blocks him off. I don't know. Raikkonen was going for it right there. That was actually kind of scary. <laughs> Massa's still trying to go for it, but he won't get us. I was going to say, this is a track that's going to really suit our car because uh, there's a lot of turns and corners here rather than straights. But the straights, though, are really long on this track, so Massa may be able to catch up to us with that Ferrari engine. Anyways, up the hill we go. We got a great start. I didn't think we were really going to get past Massa because when we originally got away, we were kind of even, and then I eventually started to pull away faster than Massa. Which was very good. Fastest lap for us as we start the second lap. Like I said, um, I don't really mind if I win this championship or not. I just want to win this race or at least end the season on a high. I think that's the most important thing in these, uh, in these seasons. To me, at least. I just want to end off on a high note and not try to be disappointed, at least. Try to be happy about all the efforts I've made. Oh, fastest laps galore. Oh, Lewis Hamilton. Oh, we got hit in the back by Massa. <laughs> oh boy, DRS is enabled. That's not that's not good whatsoever. Oh, he's... oh we blocked him. Oh, here comes Raikkonen. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, Raikkonen just came out of nowhere. Jesus Christ. But that's good at least, because now Massa is behind him. And uh, Raikkonen is going to block them, maybe? Oh, here comes Massa again. Damn. Oh, contact. He didn't leave us space. <laughs> All the time you have to leave the space. I like how I said... <laughs> I like how I said that as soon as Alonso got the fastest lap. Very, very coincidental. A new strategy. New strategy. Interesting. Let's see. Lap 9 to lap 7. Sticking with lap 7, just... Yeah, I'm sticking with lap 7. Here comes Massa. <laughs> and there he goes. I don't think we're going to be able to catch him on this... This next straight. I doubt so, but we could try, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We might actually have a shot taking this lead back. Gonna go down here. Oh, contact made again. Massa broke his end plate. Nice that oh, that's, that's huge in the championship now. I don't think that was my fault because he gave me space, but it just kind of turned in like I wasn't there. <laughs> Thankfully, yeah, our car is fine, but now Massa has that end plate broken. But he's not pitting still. <laughs> 
which is very interesting. <laughs> Here comes Raikkonen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, Massa, I mean, well, he's probably going to have to replace that wing on this next pit stop if possible. But I'm surprised he's still running with it as Coltard is getting in on this action too. But there, he is losing time though. Yeah, he's a second behind us now. He, he's dropping back. I'll admit, maybe I was a little dirty there, but like, I, I don't know. He left the space and I saw the opportunity, so I took it. But the, he just kind of turned in like I wasn't there. And if you no longer go for a gap that exists, you're no longer a racing driver. Alright, here we come into the pits. Slow it down. There you go, Massa is already going. Raikkonen behind it. Okay, so, so uh, Massa is pitting next lap, I assume. Well, go, 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 go. We got out in front of... Is that Alonso? Oh, what? Oh, Raik oh Raikkonen got held up just like in Italy when Massa got held up. Alright, so good. So now we're in 15th. Got to make a good outlap, hopefully. I assume Massa once I assume Massa's pit stop will take longer because obviously I don't know if they're going to replace the wing or not. They have to, though. Alright, here we come down the front stretch. I can see the red. That means Ferrari, yeah. Massa's in the pit. Past him, along with some others, but we have to see if we'll get out truly in front of him. I think we have. Yeah, we have. Definitely. Yep, we have. And I believe, actually, Massa will be behind Hamilton and stuff. And Hamilton and Raikkonen, but obviously he's got that fast-ass car, so <laughs> he'll probably make those spots up in no time. Alright, so all these cars in front of us have to pit. So that means when when all these pit cycles end, or when this pit cycle ends, excuse me, we should be in the lead. Hamilton should be in second and Raikkonen in third. I'm not sure where Massa is. I think he's, he might be possibly in, like, after this pit cycle is done, he might be in sixth, seventh, or eighth even. So now that things have actually calmed down, I guess I should, you know, speak about a few things because these episodes have also become... Kind of the subject to just speaking about a few things whilst also, you know, just chatting and racing <laughs> along. So obviously after this series, I don't plan to do any F123 breaking point content. I'm not too sure. Especially after grinding out daily uploads for the past week, doing this series and then Siege stuff. It's just... <laughs> I mean, I still have the motivation, but at the same time, I'm tired. So might just, you know, take a little step back and just go back to my regular uploading of Siege shorts and videos. But it's good to see that some of you actually enjoy this series and I thank you all for that because I started the series back in January as something I wanted to do in the new year just you know to provide some variety content and I guess I accomplished that months later than I expected originally because I expected I think I have like a little notes thing saying that I wanted to get this done by like February or March but <laughs> it's been like months since that and pretty much we took a break i think from march to now so about like two months two to three months and now we're ending it today but yeah overall i just want to say thank you all for the support on this series um i know it's not what everyone on this channel likes you know some of you don't know about f1 and that's completely fine this mod honestly was so cool I, because i remember when i was getting this computer of mine i was like hey maybe i should try f1 2020 on here and then i see like a, and then I saw a video for this mod, this 2007 mod, and I was and I was like, oh my god, I should get this. I should make like a career mode series on this, and so I decided to. And uh, it was probably, and back then it was it was awesome, and it still is now. All right, so just a little update to what you saw. Um, obviously that wasn't the ending to the actual race. What happened is that I guess OBS, I was looking it up after the race, I guess my GPU or something overloaded, I guess because I was recording too long, and it only recorded pretty much from the start of the race to basically after the pit stops, and even though nothing happened after the pit stops, it still makes me piss because the foot that footage had the championship celebration, and it would have showed us winning, obviously like I put at the end of these races, so, but yeah, I... Dearly apologize for that. It's something that I feared because it happens in my Siege recording sometimes as well. But of course it had to happen again on the final race of this this 
<laughs> this series. It sucks. Yeah. But I hope that doesn't, you know, take away from this episode because it was still a good episode. At least it recorded, you know, the battles and stuff before the pit stops, which is where most of the action happened. So, yeah. But anyways, back to the actual video. All right. So you probably saw that post commentary thing. Um, But to show that we did clinch the championship. There you go. We got it. I think it was 13 points that separated us and Massa, so I mean, I'm happy about that, but I'm very, very pissed about the footage not recording and stuff. It absolutely sucks that it basically froze on me, but in the, but I guess in a good sense, it froze basically after the pit stops, and I can say confidently that nothing happened after that. We maintained the lead and basically just won the race from there on out whilst Massa got stuck behind Alonso, so I guess... In a way, it did kind of a favor for us because it didn't make me. Because s- you won't, you wouldn't have to see me just cruising around the track for the remaining laps and just dominating. But uh, yeah, that's the end of the season. Five wins: China, Canada, Italy, Japan, and Brazil, which got us the championship. Very, very good. But um, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. Like I said, I know that's not the way. Honestly, anyone wanted to see that. Not even me. It sucks that the recording did that i but you know what it's not gonna ruin this good day at least you know it i showed that we did win the championship so that's all that matters but anyways i hope you all enjoyed this series thank you so much for supporting me on the series i know it's not siege related and i know many people are only here for siege but this is a personal thing that i wanted to do for some time now and uh, i'm honestly glad that i finished it not the way that i wanted to you know end it but at least you know, it, it ended in a good way still. But if you did enjoy this video somehow, uh, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe is always appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye.